Even though I'm loving everything I've been doing with Obsidian, I know it is not for everyone. Depending on one's background, the learning curve can be quite steep. Certainly, there is a more intuitive option. And if you are already an Evernote user and you like what you see here today, please share this video with others that might need help with Evernote. But if you're not a user and you're looking for a more intuitive, easier way to organize your life, please stay with me. I think you'll like this one. First, there's one thing I had to do here. Okay, <laughs> here we go. Evernote user interface is divided in three sections. To the left is what I tell my new students uh, to think of as a control panel. You can search for your notes, you can create new notes, move from one place to another. I'll, I'll, I'll get there in a moment. Then on the right, uh, we have two other sections. If you think of them as an email client, it's going to be easier. For example, this one here, justify just or just justify. Think of this as an email title. And to the right, we have the email content. If I click on a different email title, I'll see a different email content. But instead of email messages, these are your notes. Okay, let's take a look at the sidebar. The first item there is the search box and Evernote search is fantastic. You find anything that you have inside Evernote because it searches uh, text in a note, uh, documents. If you have a Word document inside a note, it will search inside the document. If you handwrite something and take a picture of that paper, Evernote will search that will find that when you search for that information. There are many videos here in the channel, and recently uh, they released the AI powered search, which is <laughs> that brought the search to a whole nother level. Anyway, Below that, we have the new. You can create a new note, the green option. And below that, we have the, I guess this is purple, the tasks. We'll get back to tasks in a moment. Uh, let's just skip hum and shortcuts for now and go to notes. This is the list of all the notes you have in Evernote. Pay attention to the, uh, the center section and you see the word notes on top of it. That means that you're seeing all your notes. That's important because if we go to notebooks, we can see our notebooks and the notes that are inside those notebooks. And although they are called notebooks, I prefer to think of them as uh, binders, the ring binders, the ones that you can open and close the rings, because you can move these notes around, you can reorder these notes, you can filter these notes, and you cannot really do that easily on a notebook. <laughs> I have here seven notebooks, but if you're starting now, you probably have at least one, because notes in Evernote, they always have to live inside a notebook. If you need to create a new notebook, you can click here and create a notebook. We'll cancel this for now. As for the notebooks you already have, you can click the three dots and there are many options here, including renaming and deleting that notebook. If we click on a notebook, we'll go to that notebook. The name on top of that list is now Agile. If we click on notes, the name changed to notes because again, this is the list of all our notes. So let's go back to Agile and let's create our first note here. Click here, note. This is the note. I can give it a title or not and write here. Above the note, you'll find a text formatting toolbar similar to the ones you might have already seen on other uh, text editors. One thing different here is the insert option. I can insert many items, including, for example, a task. And just like notes live inside notebooks, tasks always live inside notes.
If we go back to the sidebar and click on tasks, this will open a drawer and we can see here all the tasks we have in different notes across every note. The first tab here, my tasks are all the tasks I have in Evernote. But if another Evernote user creates a task and assign me to that task, I'll see that task uh, under the assigned tab. Then we have notes. Remember that all tasks leave inside a note. So we have the first note, there are things to do, there is no task, and the note untitled has two tasks. Okay. And finally, we can filter the tasks by due dates, we can add due dates to the tasks and here we would see them ordered by due dates. There's also a search box here. This one is specific, it will only show your results from your tasks. You are watching this video for a little over six minutes and you already know almost everything you need to know to use Evernote. I'll get to the last features in a moment, but if after watching this video you want to learn more, you'll find in the description below links to playlists about all these features. There are many videos, many details, many tips, and you'll be a master, a never note master if you watch all of them. Okay, let's take a look at the tags feature. If I click here, you see all my tags. If you are starting out, this list will be empty. And as you can see, there is also a search box here to search your tags. So if I search, for example, for Kanban, I'll see the Kanban tag. So let's go to a different notebook, Scrum. I'll create a new note inside this notebook. Let's call it Scrum Bun. And I'm going to paste here a definition from the Atlassian blog. I love that blog. Uh, they have very good articles there. Okay, now we can go down here and add the tag can bun. Because I already have this tag, it's suggesting me the tag here, but I could also create a tag from here. So this note now has a tag and it could have multiple tags. I'll soon show you what you can do with tags, but I think you understand it better if we go back to the binder analogy for a moment. Let's imagine for a moment that you added a label to some of the pages of your binder. Uh, let's add the Kanban label. And let's say you, for some reason, need to see only the pages with the Kanban label. Labels are tags. And I can use the tag Kanban, in this case, to see only the nodes that have that tag. So tags can be used to filter a specific group of nodes inside a notebook. But there is more. Let's say that you also added that Kanban label, that tag, to nodes in a different notebook, in a different binder. Now let's say you want to see all the notes from all the binders you have that have the Kanban tag. Yes, I can also use tags to see a list of all the pages, all the notes from different notebooks, different binders in a single stack. Okay, let's see how this works in Evernote. We are here with our Scrum binder opened. All the notes, all the pages are here. So if I go to this filter here and write Kanban and select this tag, I'll see the note that has the Kanban tag. Let's go to the Agile notebook and do the same. We can filter here. Kanban, and these are the three notes inside the Agile notebook that have the Kanban tag. But if I want to 
filter all the nodes with the tag combined. Remember, I can go to the nodes list and use the filter here. Tags, Kanban. Now I can see all the nodes in my Evernote, in all the notebooks that have the tag Kanban. And if I click on a specific note and take a look at the top of that note, I can see the name of the notebook. If I go to this one, I can also see a different notebook name. Let's go back to the binder analogy again. Imagine that you would like to move one of the pages from one binder to another. If I hover the mouse here, I can see this little icon. If I click here, I can choose a different notebook, different binder, and move that note to that other notebook, just like if I had removed one page from one binder and added that page to another binder. Every note that someone else using Evernote shared with me will be under the shared with me tab. There is also a trash. All the notes you deleted will be here. You can then click here to permanently delete that note or move it back to the notebook. Let's go back to the notes and I'll show you the shortcuts. The shortcuts, as the name imply, is a short is a space for shortcuts. So if I drag a short a note here, for example, or a notebook, this will help me get to that notebook or that note quicker. Again, there are many videos about shortcuts here on the channel. Take a look at the description below and you'll find the links there. So finally, there is Evernote Home. Home is a space for your widgets, which I see as a summary of what we have in Evernote. For example, we have here the tags widget, we have the shortcuts widget, tasks, the tasks we created are there. And of course you can customize this. You can click here and uh, rearrange them or add and remove different widgets. And of course there are many videos here in the channel about Evernote Home. You find all the links in the description below. If this one was helpful, I'd appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up. And if you want to help even more, please consider becoming a YouTube member. Thanks for watching. See you soon.